Good evening, everyone, and welcome to TMA World Cup Live. This is The Pidge, and we are sponsored by Sweets for All, New Watford Market, Unit 5. Serene. 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 Right, I'm, I'm with Mick Watford. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. He's back, and Dino, <laughs> a young man. So he's a, there's a young man here as well. So, guys, um, obviously, there's obvious things we're going to talk about. We'll start with England. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Obviously, during the thing, we've just got under an hour and a half, so we'll talk about that as well. So message in. We'll get all your comments on. If you want to ring in as well, we've got just go onto the messenger and ring my profile up and talk over over the phone as well. We'll do that as well. Um, and that's pretty it. We this is pretty much going to run itself, to be honest. Um, <laughs> with what the um, apparently there was a football game yesterday, and for the first time in 28 years, we're in a World Cup semi final. <laughs> so I thought there's more chance of getting a semi off of Viagra. Yeah, same here. <laughs> right. Okay. No. Wow, wow. <laughs> Anyone who's under 28 out there will not remember a semi final. But wow, we're there, guys. We've got to a semi final in 28 years. I'm so excited again. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was all doing, we're not doing one going, but not, don't, not getting excited because we have been here before. <laughs> but what an, what an easy game we've got coming up, really, isn't it? <laughs> Did you see him yesterday? My yeah, mate fell asleep watching that match. Oh, I don't. I didn't even see it. It's a penalty. I never caught well, it easy though with us. But like I said, everyone was saying what a fantastic sign, including me, when um they beat Argentina, even though Argentina is and yeah. and now they they I mean Russia have done bloody well considering well, we I fight Russia. I had them to yeah. I had them to go out either in the group stage narrowly or in the um, Spain last definitely, sixteen. I had them to lose Spain definitely. Yeah. When they went one 0 up, you just went, oh yeah. right, here's a spanking. So I thought that was pretty much it for uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It again. Look, uh, <laughs> right, just turn, turn that down, mate. Yeah, I'm yeah. Done it. That's yeah. it. Colombia. Always, isn't it? Always. It was Colombia. The team was together, didn't it? Because that young squad could have easily lost their heads and winning it on penalties. Mature, wasn't it? So, yeah, it was a mature from such a young team. Yeah. To See, that's that another way. omen broken. Someone who don't believe in omen. I just think the omens are crap uh, because I can uh, wear uh, different underpants. It's like me. I felt, I better not wear this because we lost to uh, lost to Belgium in it. Like, no, 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 but no. then I'll wear it and then we win. And it's the omens a load of. Ah, I'm very superstitious. Thing is, it's, you could do little things to make you feel better. But at the end of the day, if we win it, we'll win it. Look, you know, yeah. I've done. Su I've, I've I done superstitions. Now, in the last two tournaments, I just I tried superstitions and that really worked. That worked, didn't it? The last bad ones, ones, obviously, because we went out early. Yeah, but I tried superstitions, and they, all, they don't. Oh, we're so used right. to I always see a sluice of penalties. I nearly went to bed when it came to penalties. Well, the only, reason, went the old man the only reason why I watched it, because I thought, Sonic, we ain't go, we're, we're, we're probably going to win anyway. <laughs> so what, what's the arm in me watching yeah, it? Yeah, so if we do, do watch it, then I'll watch them win. Yeah, that's true. My heart sunk when penalties were like, oh, no, here we go again. I'll tell you what, and I'm going to say this now and get it out of the way, because I've said it on Facebook. I said when Southgate took over, um... Straight after um, Allardyce, I said because of his record, he was going to fail. Um, I had us down for uh, quarterfinals at the very, very most, really depending on who we got. And I was looking at possibly Senegal in the uh, last 16 to get us to the quarterfinals. And this is before the World Cup, since we had the group, and I yeah, knew well, what we got. I think was a bit like you, wasn't it? We're all yeah. pessimistic and about Southgate. No, no, no. I, I said, basically, he did nothing at Middlesbrough. He did a decent, really good job at under-21s, but this is a totally different level. And in club football, he was absolutely useless. But fair play to him. He's proved me wrong. And I said, anything from quarterfinals. Quarterfinals is progress, especially after the last two things. And like I said to you, I called the last three, yeah, yeah, and yeah. people slaughtered me on my profile, which are on now. Slaughtered me because I called the last three for saying I was negative. I said no, I'm being realist and saying where I think we're going to finish. Yeah. Even though I wanted us to win both European Cups and the World Cup, where I predicted, I said I want us to win, but I think we're going to finish here. Yeah. This one, I said quarterfinals. Anything else is a bonus, but quarterfinals is progress. Oh, yeah, yeah. in the last three yeah, World Cups yeah, we've yeah, had, World Cups of Euros. He's proved me wrong. Fair play to him. Lord Southgate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, he is so to be knighted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pleased, actually. I've seen, we, we, I mean, we're lucky we're old now, certainly, but we're, we're all old enough yeah. to see um, the Italian 90 and Euro 96 um, semi-finals. I'm glad for the people that were either too young out there <laughs> for the heartache and the heart. Yeah, they weren't even born <laughs> yeah. when Italian 90 was there. 
that you can finally see a semi-final as well. Yes. Because I said, I get excited. If we get to the semi-final, I will certainly get excited. And I've said that at the start of the tournament. Well, I think anyone of that age group, because we have seen the 20s and the younger lot, of that's all they've known. We've known the better England squad than... Yeah, of that era, yeah, yeah. we weren't getting extra, but now we're at semi. We can get extra because we've been here. We, we know what it's like. To be honest, most people get excited <laughs> when they got semi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, boom, boom. Um, but you think, the thing is, though, you know, I, like I said, the only thing, reason I was pessimistic is because all the other time, all the other World Cups, including the last one, I was saying, right, we've got a really good chance of doing some damage, not necessarily winning it, but getting to at least quarterfinals. People say, you're mad last World Cup. And this is me, who was supposed to be negative, who <laughs> said that we get at least quarterfinals last World Cup. And it was an absolute joke. And the Euros, yeah. so don't start no, me in the no, Euros. No, I mean, Asda would have had a better We would have had a better chance of being able to play Asda. Um, but Iceland was just frigging useless. But I'll tell you what. We've got no real stars. We've got stars, but no real Beckham, yeah. no. Lampard, Gerrard stars. Then more together, the the club divide has gone. Yeah. And they said that at the start of the yeah. tournament. And and like I said, the FA have loosened. You can see they've loosened the shackles on Southgate a little bit. And I said this before the tournament that he's being a little bit more brave. I was I was happy. I said fair play to him that he's picked what he's picked because it's more his team rather than. People sort of Around say, look, yeah, you, you can't, you have to pick a certain age or certain group or whatever like that. He's picked his own boys. And I said to me, old man as well, said he's got free free tournament deal here. The players now know that if whatever happens, he won't get sacked after this tournament. No, not no, now. Not now. So he's, and, and he knows that. So he's gone brave and made his own decisions. The last few coaches know pretty much if we cock up in these tournaments, they're going to get sacked. Yeah. So they're going for the quick, do it now, players. The players that have proven that he can't really, they can't really take a risk. Southgate's taken a risk, oh. and I, I said, if it goes well, if we get to like knock out the second round, it's it, and we play good football and we get knocked out against a better side. I'd take that. I'd be disappointed, but I'd take it. Spell, but oh, look at this now. Side. This is even a bonus. We've got to a semi-final of a World Cup in his first tournament yeah. of the team that he's trying to progress with a yeah, young team. Look at that. Yeah. In theory, it can only get better. I mean, yeah, we've heard this yeah. before, but it can only get better. So, you know, like I say, I'm proven wrong. Fair yeah, 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 no. That's it. That's me done with my... Just on Southgate, Tony looks smart as well in the dugout. <laughs> that coming home uh, thing was quite nice. Uh, yeah. As an ambassador for England, you know, yeah. look at some of the managers we've seen over in the World yeah, Cup, yeah, what yeah. they've actually worn. You're representing your country. Yeah. He does look smart. He does look smart. Dabber, Dabber. Dabber. He gets involved with uh, yeah. the fans, mm-hmm. don't he? And all yeah. the miss, some of these yeah. load of passion. I've got a million of passion. Yeah, he does. He really shoots <laughs> himself. And that as well. <laughs> yeah, some of that. Right, right. I, I've got yeah, to go go give on. it to um, Sterling. I thought finally he missed two chances, but that was his best game of the tournament so far. He really... I think he was the reason we won, to be honest. With I said at half-time, his decision-making was shocking, yeah. but his yeah, overall play goal. was his best game. Yeah, yeah he really... Upset Sweden, they were scared of him. That yeah. defence was scared of well, him. Well, yeah. we always say in a, a game, don't they? So if you're having a bad game, just run your socks off. Yeah. So to be fair, and I've actually defended it. I'm mean, more critical of him. I've been saying he's been he, me and him he are being at Lockeridge. Instead of playing that ball, where he could have a few times, but he could have laid it back instead yeah. of yeah. still going for goal, he could have knocked it back. See in. this negative talk that I'm supposed to have, um, I mean, I mean, me and him are being loggerheads. Yeah, but yeah, I've yeah, stuck yeah. up for Sterling yeah, all yeah. this tournament, saying if Rashford had put in those performances, he would not got slated as much. I'm no good with the names. Who was the lad on the right that scored the goal? Oh, Rashford. Oh, Rashford. Yeah, 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 Rashford. Yesterday, Trippier. Trippier. Yeah, absolutely been tremendous. Trippier. Absolutely he ran his socks off as well. He was, he was my man in the match. Apart from Pickford with his, what saves he pulled off, mm. I thought Trippier yeah, was my I, man I, in the match. Pickford, Maguire and Stones as my top three. Right. My candidate. My player in the Pickford. tournament is Maguire with Pickford by about 1% behind. Yeah, to yeah, well, saves, he's but definitely got that Maguire, top now, isn't he? I, 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 said, get that top I back can't believe, him. I mean, he stopped the moaning now, Maguire, because yeah. every time I saw him last season for Leicester, every time he got knocked over, he just whinge, and you think, look at the size of you, mate. <laughs> but yeah. every time there's a ball up in the air, you don't even have to look. You know it's going to go back that way, it's because Maguire, yeah. how, <laughs> have we actually seen him miss a header? Have you actually seen him miss a header? Oh, Especially the last one. three games. Not when he's running out. I don't think like, so. Like, that one, that that one, that he probably he would have probably got that goal anyway. But you're ta- letting players take a run up at you, and 
the zonal marking rubbish. We the, we talk about well, this with they off the cane, didn't they? They're so used to Kane running yeah. to the back post yeah. that now as soon as he moves, they're leaving him spare and just get that ball yeah. on, this, on this penalty spot. Our, our set pieces have been <laughs> second to none at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. The one bit I do oh, like uh, with the set pieces is that line. Yeah. That they do the conga. Yeah, behind them. Yeah, you can't mark. I tell, it I've never seen that done. I know that's really stupid. I've never seen that done before. And it's right on the training ground. Oh yeah, they're training hard. How do you mark that? That's I think that's yeah, one. You, you can't yeah. get between them, can you? No. You can't get a defender in between. Them. I was looking, going, me. How do you mark that? Because it's easy when you have players in certain positions. Yeah, yeah. Because you can zoom in. 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 Yeah, yeah. Because He's going to try and mark you, so go towards that side. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. So right, yeah. It's just yeah, it can alternate. Yeah, that's very clever. Yeah. It's very, very clever. I've got to give it to Harry Kane. I know he didn't score. He done a lot of hard work yesterday. Um, um, he was growing the mid yesterday, didn't he? Harry yeah, he Kane was in more... and... and I said Henderson for captain, but actually, fair he's play, Kane's been wrong, absolutely yeah. brilliant. He's proved me wrong because I thought yeah. Henderson then Kane. Yeah. I think Kane's done a fantastic job. Actually, what? Yeah, Watford, Steve. Yeah, um, I do. I, I even I'm starting to believe that. Well, that was number one, by the way, at the charts. It's coming home. <laughs> on my way over, here, I heard it running late. I heard it. I don't know why. I mean, there's a World uh, Cup going on or so. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone's got to have a bit of belief now. You're still not there, but you're you getting excited feel, now. Feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. You can feel the hope now. Isn't like it? I always so, said, I've, it's fantastic. The, the one thing with, especially with football. It can galvanise the whole nation. Yeah, Even people that don't really happen. like it jumping on the bandwagon. And, well, for, you know, just, for a neutral, it's a good what feeling. World Cup this has been for someone who's, who just likes football. Yeah, neutral. What a World Cup they watched. It's oh. been great. Yeah, it has been. Good. It's been a good World Cup. Well, either way, if we lose or not, we have another game anyway, won't we? Lose or not, we're a third or, uh, and we still have now, a third or fourth place, and don't that's you? Probably, probably is that the only thing, and I like people say putting a downer on it. I really do hope we, and there's no reason why we can't kick on from this. No, no. I really don't hope that we are victims of our own success. Like, like I say, we've. Had, that's why the one reason I really do hope we win this because. We can get out of the 66 shadow. Yeah. It won't be 66 every tournament. No, no. <laughs> every time England play, all the 66. Yeah, and right. even the Dave players said, we're yeah. sick of hearing about it. Win something, and then we'll talk about 2018. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, also, yeah, and, and also, like I say, the victims of their own success. Just, you know, let's take the lessons from 50 years or 40 years or whatever the hell it is now. Of yeah, fifty yeah, fifty is just over fifty years no, no, of no, constantly no. thinking about one tournament. If we win this, if we win this, no. let's not keep just look at comparing every team from then on to that World Cup. Yeah. Because it will just hinder them again. Because we've had fifty years of just hindering our players. Yeah. Every single tournament, you must do this, you must do that. Well, oh, God given right to win this or win this because we're English. Well, you know, we've come into this tournament with no didn't pressure. We lose that in the nineties, though. The God given right because in the night we thought we were going to win everything. We, didn't. we had that belief well, that we were going to win. I thought we were going to win Euro 96. Yeah, God, and and, and the team though. lost that in, uh, in the early 2000s. It was like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Glenn saying World Cup is shit, bunch of racists. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yud. The yud's on. And Sir Jack Watts is on. Totally agree with you, Watford, Steve. Yeah, I think um, just the country needed something to unify. Yeah, no. Oh, so. everyone's so happy. Isn't just it? sport in general. Why, why is, is it, what, Everyone, yeah. Yeah. any just, sport that could anything that can galvanize this country is yeah. a good thing, especially after all the ble Brexit crap and all this lot, and everyone's divided on different <laughs> things. It's just unified the country, and it's just it's a good fit. What I mean it's good for you, yeah. I right? made my day winning yesterday. I enjoyed for the weekend. And Glenn's getting work. a new England tattoo. All right, guys, also, um, we've done the We've done the back five. We've done the midfield. Now it's your choice and your chance to name us the all-time, for you, the all-time best forward two. You can have attacking midfielder just behind a striker, but it's a two. So, um, the forward two. He named them. Maradona and Pele. Yeah, they're too obvious to me. I couldn't put anyone in. You could have Eusebio. You could have Gert Muller. Maradona. Jeff Hurst. Muller, Gert Muller. Yeah. 48 goals, 49 out of 48, wasn't it, or something? Something like that. That's still crazy. Yeah. So, guys, top, top forwards, top two forwards, guys, for the world. So, your all time World Cup. And also, give us your top three 
players of the tournament. We're going to talk about that as well. Um, but Pickford will be definitely you up You've got to get a South guy being brave for playing through at the back. It works to a charm with this. He's squad, done the Chelsea. It? He's done the it's Chelsea just, stroke Man City. From, a, from what I saw, it was a five at the back, and then it dropped to but having three it's, move two into the midfield. It's, it's a three yeah, that with could have been adapted as a five, yeah. but also Walker comes in, it starts as a right centre back, then comes out as a mm. right back. So it also plays as a back four. Yeah, I thought that was right. Yeah, it, 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 they're just so. The only thing that annoys me is where we're so far up the pitch and we play it all yeah, the way back to the feet. Let's put Kane and Lineker because he's top them. No, but it's a good, still a good shout though. Yeah. Lineker, that Lineker was one hell of a player. Oh yeah. Now, you, you're right about that, Mick. Though we get well, there was one where I think we had a corner. Yeah. All we had to do was whip it back, and it's all the way to pick. It's like, don't yeah. keep whipping it in. Yeah. Don't I'd rather it. lose it in there after. Yeah. Play, back I'm under after pressure. Losing. That's it's one so thing I don't like about the way we play at the moment. I, I didn't mind it at two 0 up. By all means, you don't have to go and score another goal. No. You keep the ball. I understand that, but when it's Just one, one nil, nil, go and get that second. Stop this tippy tappy. It's beautiful, but. No, it gives you but like you said with Spain, yeah, you know, they've done too much. The difference with Spain, like I say, yeah, difference with Spain, the last few tournaments played the tippy tappy, but they had an end product. Yeah. This one, they played the tippy tappy, there was nothing to show for it. Especially no. with Marco Sensio and players like that in front of them. Costa, you, thought, you can't. Costa, you still had Iniesta. Yeah. You can yeah. still play. You know, I'd still have, so, I'd, um, Danny Irons put um, Del Piero and Ronaldo of Brazil, the original oh, yeah, yeah. Ronaldo. Yeah, Van yeah. Basten or, and Ronaldo from Brazil. Very good shout. Yeah, yeah, Van yeah, Basten, yeah, yeah. one hell of a player. Ronaldo. Best two forwards, Watford Steve from England, Jimmy Greaves and Gray. Even though he's a twat. Or oh, Gary, Gary Limitor, sorry, Gray. Uh, is that got Andre Gray? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Glenn was oh the free free he's done it. Also, guys, um Circle N Wallace has done it as well, but just um, message us your um, top three players of the World Cup. They don't have to be English, but they probably are. Yeah. But top three, I think, Glenn has put Trippier, Kane and Pickford. So that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's very good. I can't really argue with that. I'll go yeah. Trippier. Oh, I'll Modric, I'll, I'll, Modric I'll, for me. I think he's, probably been probably because he's gone four. I'm going Kane, Pickford and Maguire. And okay. Trippier, just the fourth one. I'm going to go Trippier, McGuire, McGuire, and I'm going to put Modric in there because he has... Shearer, Greaves and Kane. Charlton Tree, uh, yeah. That's a, that's a forward four by Sir Ray. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's yours, mate. Oh, is it? Oh, and that's one. your um, beverage. Thank you. Kelly Roberts, Courtney's uh, court on as well. Hello, Kelly. <sighs> Um, yeah, so just remember, yeah, message us your um, World Cup all-time oh, forward line, um, your top three World oh, yeah, uh, top three World Cup players. Yeah. Guys, just remember we're sponsored by Sweets for All, Unit Five, Watford Market. Get down there during the week. There's a nice little cafe next door as well. All your sweets you can eat. Unit 5, New Watford Market. So get down there during the week. Big shout out to Seren. Big shout out to um, Ashby St. Eve. Google it. Ashby St. Eve for all your superhero football t-shirts and a few England ones out right now, including our logo. So the TMA one is on there as well by Jim cups. Cook. You'll yeah, do the cups in a minute, mate. And also, just remember, Jim Cook. Big shout out to him. Thank you for all the logos, mate, for the Watford TMA and the TMA World Cup as well, mate. So thank you very much. Get on Ashby St. Eve. Just remember, gifts, souvenirs, and superhero football T-shirts. So, yeah, we can do these as well. Graham Laycott, thank Graham, thank you very much, mate. I know this is more Watford related, but he is looking at more sort of lines as well. But Mick, you can do do this if you want, mate. Cups for Graham for epilepsy, seven ninety nine. Uh, the day I stop loving Watford, or so will be the day I stop breathing on both sides. So if you got in the office. Birthday, Christmas presents. Christmas is coming only five months away. Ho, ho, ho. ho. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, Glenn is think, sponsored by diabetes too. <laughs> so, mate, honestly, if you go yeah, to that place, you probably would get diabetes because yeah. it's got... Uh, and tell you what, he actually orders in your favourite sweets as well. He's got sugar-free sweets, sweet, yeah. Diabetes. Sugar-free sugar, sugar -free sweets as well. So, um, just get... Just get down there, guys. You will get diabetes, I promise you. Because it is, <laughs> and he orders your sweets in as well. So, so sweets for all, Unit 5, New Watford, Mark. Yeah. 
So Ziggler's in the house as well. Oh, hello, Zig. Yeah, yeah. Zig, Zig. I might be feeling better, mate. I know he had a bit of a nasty turn no, yesterday. Uh, with the last always time. died in, wasn't he? No, no, no. He actually <laughs> went to Luton and done some. Oh, that's how bad yeah. it is. Oh, oh, so he's a spud. Breathe like, the air in Luton and make milk. <laughs> but no, Ziggler, yeah, get better, mate. Get better, mate. Uh, yeah. Glad to hear you're all right. And Scotty Stimson's in the house as well. So hello, yeah. Scott. You're all right, mate. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, what do you what do you think of the uh, the other semi finalists and um, oh, especially with Great Belgium to come through out of that game? Not after what I saw them done to Brazil. Jesus Christ, them ah. front three were scary. I t- oh, Who yeah. would you choose out of France or them? Well, I'd Belgium. Belgium. <laughs> Just so we can show them what they should have had in the group stage. Because I still reckon we, we played for the strongest played. team either, did we? We didn't have Lukaku. Yeah, but we know how they played, play, because after that, that's what played. You might know how they play. play, but them three against Brazil were absolutely tremendous. Belgium England not. final. People, a lot of people have predicted that. <laughs> There's been a lot of people predicting that. I've yeah. watched them. We've all watched Brazil, and to be honest, we've all said they're not that good at the back. No. Belgium, they hung on near the end, but... Brazil was shocking at the back, and I'm Neymar was absolute crap I'm all still, the way through that. I'm door. still convinced France it would be France in the final. I said Germany well, France at the start, but then I realised when it, how it finished. Obviously, even with Germany, Germany going through, it, yeah, even with Germany going through, it'd be probably no, them on yeah, the same side. Met, they they met, so I changed it after as well. And Charlie's and uh, Charlie and Dave, hello guys. Either, Either way, it's going to be tough if we get there. It don't matter which one; they're both quality, aren't they? Yeah. I prefer Belgium because France have got a lot more key players in all the positions. Uh, who's your top young star? I would say Pickford. Well, well for England, yeah. uh, who Pickford I mentioned earlier, one. one of the two. On the, on the right hand side, so Trippier. 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 Yeah, he's been that, tremendous. Yeah, yeah, I think he's had a really good World Cup. I think Lingard. He's, he's, he's impressed me. Lingard. Yeah, no, no, he's a. No, I have to. Yeah, yeah, Pickford or Maguire. I can't see Hart getting the top off. No, of, he's got no chance. No, no, no. Not after this tournament, he's. He won't get back in the England. I'm just saying it's something as well, like well, many things, but I said when he was at Sunderland, he's going to be England number one in two years. You've got to give him time, and I got slaughtered for it when um, at brilliant. Watford, and I got slaughtered for it on Facebook, and he's England number one. I had my doubts when the World Cup squad got announced because I didn't think he was going to be number one before it was announced, but I started losing doubt, but I'm glad that one I've been yeah. proved right. Yeah. Like, and like I say, the Southgate one have been proved wrong, this one have been proved right. Oh, them, them saved. Sure. That saved the best one of the whole World Cup, is that it? one against Colombia. Oh, yeah. That one where he, oh. yeah, tipped it up. Because he went first, that sort, and went first with that, Went that in the right hand, hand back round. Then he put the left oh, one out, and he <laughs> technique. It was the technique. That, that gives the whole team well. confidence. Oh, well, when you've got, you got a keeper, keeper, oh yeah, yeah. like performing like he has, oh. that that just builds confidence oh, from the back. The whole squad can trust Fra- him. France England final, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it can happen. I think now, judging on because I've I said to you just before we went on. No, of course, we were, uh, oh, with Croatia. Absolutely. Russia pushed them and fair play to Russia. But Croatia could be a different animal next game. Yeah, I I think think it's done on game and game. Yeah. I think our set piece, if we, if we can get our set pieces right, we'll, we'll, yeah, I reckon we'll get three past them. Oh, it could easily happen, but on the same yeah, token, right. their midfield could run, up, uh, yeah, run us ragged. Where they Look at how Modric run himself in the ground. I know these people say now that he'll be tired, which probably could be the case now. Yeah, he's he's really yeah, him and Rakitic together. Rakitic and yeah, Modric, yeah, yeah, really two of good. the best midfielders in the world. And they're good at free kicks and all. You get one on the edge of the box, they're going to test us. There. But look at our look at our lot. That we press teams, and we don't always try and play it out. We try and play the channels and launch it down the channel, yeah. so we mix it up a bit, which impressed me actually because yeah. even Stones he's trying to do it. He's that impressed me. Stones, he's another one. He's been very good this tournament. But Stones, he's at a, not latecomer, but he's, he's taken a few years to really, you know, get his crop yeah. because Pep's, I mean, fair play to Pep because Pep's one of those who likes to play out and he's told him, because at Barca, Danny Elvis and these players, they all launched it down the wing. Yeah. They weren't all playing tippy tap. No, 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 no. They pinged it. Yeah. Quick, and he's been telling Stonesy to ping it. He says, don't play. If you've got nowhere to play it, just Ping yeah, it down the line. Want, just yeah. put something there you can get the same. Yeah, Don't yeah. play in the middle, just put it down the channels. Yeah. Glenn, Glenn has mentioned yeah. uh, I think Sterling has been toilet. Should give Rashford a chance. 
Southgate won't do that. This squad's got him this far. He won't. Uh, I think he's going to go safety and he's To be fair to Sterling, that was his best game that game. That was his best his game. His work rate well. was... I was impressed with his work yeah. rate. His yeah. decision-making um, at international level is absolutely shocking sometimes, but he ran them ragged second off. Mm-hmm. Miles so better well, improvement. Yet again, he's yeah. in that the strikers. I want to score a goal. Yeah, you know, Sterling's decision, should. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, when he's got the ball and he misses that opportunity to score, he should look to knock it back Put his head up. Yeah. But it's isn't that any strikers? Oh, any yeah, striker, what, you know, they are greedy. They? That's what they're known, known for. Strikers. And but there's a the time but there's also strikers that look up and it's lay it off when they know. Look, if you oh, had, if it's you had looked up here, young man, you know you get more glory for I mean, laying the ball on than you do. People said to him, you know, okay, he's the, he, you know, he's, um, you know, he's. Decision making was shocking, but he got in those positions. He was yeah. in those positions yeah. in the first place, so I'll give yeah. him credit for that. You know, he's in those positions to muck up, especially when we were launching the ball over the top and he yeah. was running, running you, that off the shoulder. Get, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see that defender was terrified. He yeah. couldn't get near him. But he, no, he, he was. I was impressed with that. I was disappointed he didn't score. He should have. But I mean, you look at who's like what that, France so would you got? Chuck Rashford in his place? No, no, no. not at the moment. I it's think got going, this far, keep with the squad. Ain't sure. break, don't fix it. Yeah. I mean, bring Rashford on 25 yeah, minutes to go and let yeah, him run it. Absolutely. Take Sterling off, fine. No, I've got no problem with that at the moment. I mean, it's good shout putting because there is a lot of people that do agree with Glenn and put oh, on yeah. Rashford. So you could have a case for him. But I just think the Southgate, he said he's done it so far. Just play it. Play with what you've got. Play with what we've got. Like I said, Rashford's a good backup. Vardy Vardy will be fit. I mean, I know so I, I said he was shocking against Belgium, but... For 20 minutes, same with Rashford. It's like you're nuts. In right he now, would, yeah. You imagine putting those two on and just say, look, don't come back. Don't track back. Just it's run after. Hassle them. Just yeah. hassle the back four or back three or whatever. The one got. that was toilet yesterday, I know he scored, but Ali, he didn't do a lot at all for me yesterday. He's never been fully he fit was, this tournament, is he? he? I'm not rubbish. defending him. He was rubbish. You're saying Sterling was rubbish. No, Ali was rubbish yesterday. Goal or not, he was poor for me. I think he's the one that should get changed, but they won't again because... I would put Loftus Cheek ahead of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, because he's stronger and holds the ball. I tell you what, for a team that's who's usually, um, you know, historically good in the air, they were shocking. They were, weren't they? The dom- but I the thought dom- that was the, that was their one one place where they're going to score against us if they're going to score. Yeah, corner or just a general set piece like a free kick or or penalty. Yeah. That's the only yeah. time I'll see them score. And tell you what, that is testament to a lot of the teams we play. We can only see them doing that. We can't see them getting around the back of us. You yeah. know, they're too so quick, aren't they? Open. I think they're not they're open goal chances. Goal, clear cut like, chances yeah. where Pickford. But there was no one there following them on. I, 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 I <coughs> can't give him humongous credit. Henderson, they mentioned the, the, part, the saves, but Henderson done a great block with the, the second one, weren't it? You were on about. If he ain't got there, I think that's good idea. Henderson's um, tracking back. Yeah. And, oh. I mean, it's just a, it's just a shame he's become a good player in the last year or so because before four years ago you know if you'd said Henderson Henderson would be running that midfield people would laugh at you yeah, he, was, he was a decent player but he, he's a miles better player now and this is this is backing up a copite player yeah. which <laughs> yeah, I don't like doing but I'll tell you what Henderson and I said the people they work with you know new managers come and yeah. go and a lot of these players have worked under Southgate at under 21 level so you're looking at it now me looking at more sort of positive way towards Southgate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they, that's probably why they said they've said also they've it's all worked well, so we can say it with a like a more of a positive head. But they've looked at it now and said, look, he's worked with the youngsters. He knows these players. Yeah. You know, and they're promoted with from within. So now the FA will turn around and say we've promoted a good young coach, and it's worked. It's worked yeah, off, yeah. and they, you can't really argue with that now. Now you can't. No. Back then, you like I said to you, I was like, mm, have we run out of ideas? Yeah, yeah Southgate, so same with obviously they saw happy. something that we didn't. Yeah, a lot of us who doubted him obviously didn't see. Yeah, yeah. and he obviously suits international football. Good big Phil Scolari went to Chelsea and was useless, but he he won the yeah. World Cup with Brazil. Yeah, yeah. So international football could suit Southgate better than club one. football because he done well at under twenty ones, and now we can look at his CV and say I've got a I've got a national team to the semi final. Yeah, so he got yeah. Watford, Steve. Yeah, uh, I think it's pushing uh, Sterling pushing safe forward has meant Keane has played the last two matches slightly deeper than he should. Yeah. Uh, Natasha Rashford should get the nod against Croatia. Sterling has had too many chances. Uh, James, why change what we've got? As far 
Why change what has got us this far? Yeah, no, no, no. no they're all good points, you know. They're all both have a actual good start. The... Do you think, no, what for Steve's thrown a good one up? Do you, see, do you think Kane sacrificed his position slightly? He did that game, but he, he'd done a captain's role, didn't he? he he, he did, just worked his socks off. He didn't. He's not. He's like um, people say. Oh no, he's no way like Beckham. But he's the Beckham type of captain, and vice versa. Where he doesn't shout a lot, he goes and gets the ball and leads by example. He says, "Look, this is me coming to get the ball. This is me winning the winning the head, or this is me winning that tackle or shooting. Come on, we're all doing it. If I'm doing it, you're doing what it." What came done well was he he, invite, he invites a foul as well. So when they're putting pressure on us, he done it four or five times. He controlled the ball. Someone will whack into him. Yeah. Foul. Ref, you know, gives us two-minute break. I think even in the 90th minute, he sprint to the corner flag, didn't he? This is the 90th minute. He's absolutely knackered, and he's sprinting to the corner flag just to waste time. Yeah. You know, he's I'm hoping, I'm hoping Croatia are knackered after that. Oh, yeah. I think I'm after about, probably about 70th, 75th minute, their legs will go. awful, to be honest with you, against Russia. I like that the game was a two-all draw. Right, in extra, and they won on penalty. Yeah. Well, I thought it was, apart from, um, I think it was the Russian lad that had a De Bruyne shot where he just fired it yeah, it and it went good. steaming in yeah, and a bit that ran across the goal mouth. To be honest, I thought that. I, 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 didn't, I didn't see them frightening us one, one bit. Yeah. I do agree with that. They look slow, but like me and Paul, like we said, the quality they've got in midfield could win them a game. At the back, they're not. They're not Imagine good. At the back, they're well. poor. At the back, they are poor. They're the only one that's at the actually back, decent really at poor. that back five is, five is the keeper. Because um, yeah, who's that? Who's a Lovren? No, no, he's poor. Their back four is rubbish. Per- Perisic or no, not Perisic. Who's the goalkeeper? Uh, I think you're right, Perisic. Is per- is it? But he's he is a good keeper. Yeah. But he's got nothing really no, solid. It's not that good. No, Lovren has got worse. Since he's left South He's their best defender, so it proves how good they are at the back. They're not... And up front, they're not great either. That bloke in the bad... Was he the one that played for Fulham on loan? Is that there? Or I think it's someone Who's that? Equation striker. No, he's your no. Juventus, isn't he? So and Mazursic, yeah. Yeah, he, he plays, plays for Juventus. He plays for Juve, yes, he? So, um, he's what right, Steve said, we've been right. very good at nicking the ball and winning 50-50s. I'll tell you what, that is told yeah. because the confidence. When you're winning... You've seen players winning headers, like I said, with their... Yeah, we're shutting them down a lot quicker. You just look. You don't even have to look at when you look at TV. You don't have to have a look where the ball is. You just keep looking there because you know the ball's going to go back yeah. there. Yeah. Now with Maguire, he's oh. every, and they're not little headers. They're full on front, right on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Bang! Well over. Yeah. He's he's unbelievable, Maguire. Our first tournament, he took like a duck the water, and he's been absolutely he's superb. Absolutely brilliant. His value must be near 60, 70 million and everyone wants him now. Leicester must love him. Right, your top three, and guys, I'll throw this out to you once again. Your top three players of the tournament, they can be all be English if you want. But if you want to put your just your neutral World Cup hat on, let's try and pick a top three. World Cup, World Cup three, top three, your top three. Um, it's hard to pick no one from England, but... Like I said, Maguire, Pickford and Modric for me. I've watched Modric and he's been pretty good. Modric has been quality. Yeah. Trippier, De Bruyne. Yeah. I think he's, yet again, had a really good World Cup. Yeah, De Bruyne, yeah. And that French lad, that coloured French lad that keeps Mbappe. coming on and scoring for him. Is it Mbappe? He I'd say Pickford's... Pickford for his, purely for his size. I mean, Kane, it's easy, it's easy to put Kane. Um, in Beppe, Pickford, you know, probably Modric. Because you put De Bruyne, you put De Bruyne and oh, Kane. It'd be a top five yeah. with De Bruyne and Kane. If I had a top five, but I'll take those two out and have those top three. Yeah, um, yeah pretty much. I Walker's, could easily pick the whole England squad with some of them. Swap for Steve Sam. Walker, Walker made me nervous with his possession. Um, Only one, one game, two. what was that? Columbia. Well, he got out. It was only that one. Yeah. But he's the one who's hitting it down the channels yeah. and mixing it up a little bit. Yeah. It's not just playing a nice, simple ball no, forward. It's, it's try and test their, test their ball back. Someone likes uh, Ashley Young. Paul. I've got to put my Ashley Young, me. dead balls have been superb. Yeah. I've done a few defences. Delivery's been brilliant. I mean, Arnold's ones, I mean, oh. against Belgium were just dreadful. I mean, it, in terms of his performance, it, it wasn't bad. No, no. I mean, but I'm oh, sort of sorry. If it was the performance was nervy yeah i can understand that i'll take that because you know it's his first game he's going to be a bit iffy you know 
it's in a national stage at a World Cup. Yeah. He's going to be nervous, but I'm sorry, his Cross dead it, balls yeah. were awful. The dead balls I got after, after the first one. You got no excuse. The first one, you're going to be a little bit nervous because you want to you want to put first decent ball in to get your next six. <laughs> <laughs> awful. Um, yeah, I would James put Modric, Maguire, and Trippier. Yeah, well, yeah that's a good shout, three. No, very good three. I've got to give it to Young because I thought this game it would have been Rose because Young isn't as quick, but Young's proved me wrong. He's been absolutely superb. Because I there. thought they were going to bring him on, bring on um, Rose after Belgium. Yeah, but, I did. Yeah. But Youngies, I agree. Yeah, Youngies set good. pieces have been brilliant. I thought I've been really impressed with him. He set up a guy's goal, wasn't it? it was him. He took yeah, the corner. Took the corner. Put it in. Let me just on a let's spot. just state this once and for all, guys, especially Glenn Wallace. And Tottenham aren't going to win the World Cup. If anyone's going to win the World Cup, um, I knew that can I just can I just state that <coughs> the head coach is from Watford, so Watford will win the World yes. Cup. Yes, yes, thank you. And the main striker started at Watford. Kane, that's where he had his run out, wasn't it? Kane, yeah. By the way, Kane started there. Okay, the left winger is Watford. The, the coach is Watford. Oh, yeah. So it's really a Hornet. Yeah. And we are yeah. the Hornets win McGuire the World Cup. McGuire becoming the Watford too. McGuire was thinking <laughs> about coming as well alongside Cavaselli, but there you go. That's another that's a one for another day. The Watford win the World Cup, so. Yeah, I, the head coach is from Watford, so I mean Jesus. So that counts, yeah. You know, the yellow brick he's walked the yellow brick road. As well, Pickford so. and De Bruyne. Yeah, that's from Paul. Yeah. 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 Well, for Steve, I'm torn between Young and Rose. Would love to see some left foot, foot crosses down the flank. I would, but everyone forgets Young did use his left foot against Sweden. He put in a lovely ball, so that does confuse you, don't it? If you can do I it. I think what he means is more sort of a natural thing, but he can do it. He can definitely do it. Yeah. I wouldn't mind yeah. Rose starting. I like Rose, but Young's got a bit across them. Like Rose, I said, yeah, I thought he was going to start. Oh, yeah, Belgium, I did. Absolutely, I thought yeah. He might have just changed it because Rose looked pretty decent against Belgium. One of not many, but. I thought he looked decent. The Belgian game was just tactics, guys. Yeah, that was just tactics. I, mean, like, I was disappointed. In but that. I said, we won against Colombia. It's worked. Yeah, I'll give him his due. If we had lost on penalty, oh, then there, I would have ripped him a bit. Oh, God, yeah. He yeah. But we didn't. So, no. fair play to South Africa. Yeah. We said that as soon as that came back. If he's going to play reserve side, he'll lose momentum. And like Gary Neville said, you couldn't have taken anything from that game apart from we've got, on paper, an easier ride. You know, like yeah. that on paper. Not an easy ride, on paper, paper easy, ride. easy ride. Um, it's worked out at the moment that way that it's an easier ride because we've beaten the teams, yeah. you know, we beat the teams ahead of us. And as but, I know, make a, make a happy... Uh, don't forget, in some World Cups, some of them players go and they never get the chance to even kick a ball around on the pitch. Yeah. Whereas the Belgium game gave them the opportunity to play some players that possibly, oh, if yeah, things no. had gone slightly wrong to start with, would never have seen the pitch. No. I think Martinez so moves, that, yeah. just jeer up the whole squad. Well, what the said, Martinez looked, looked defeated when they scored. I was like, yeah, oh, even no. I, was, I said, Patty, you can't say it's like, you twat. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why he's won because he's, it's still, I mean, they beat Brazil. So I don't know swings won. through the, the, the harder side. Yeah, yeah. Was it Brazil? And Argentina? Japan. And Japan. Was it Brazil, Japan, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they nearly lost. They were 2-0 down with Japan. <laughs> I don't know. How, but, like yeah. I say, that's another one. They turned up against Brazil and they yeah. almost didn't turn up against Japan. Yeah, so it's strange. Croatia didn't really turn up. Yeah, Croatia didn't really turn up against Russia. Didn't really. But they could against us. But it could be the other side where we could beat them 3-0. People are saying we could, if it goes right for us, we could be 2-3-0. Yeah. Yeah. We, team we've tight. just got, we know the players we've got to stop. It's Modric yeah. and Rakitic, especially Modric. A lot goes for Stuart him. saying, pinch yourselves, we're going to the final. That's a good shout. <laughs> Duncan just checked in from Spearden. He wanted to say hi, but he's, uh, but he's out and about over there. He's watched the match with his brother and wife in Stockholm. Perfect untimed planning. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy we're in a semi final. I bet he's walking around there all proud. And yeah, it's all right. I'm happy we're in a no, semi final. If I was over there, I'd be the, doing the Conor McGregor walk everywhere. <laughs> walking to Stockholm, doing that and everything. I'd be like, or just standing like, hold me hand, please. <laughs> oh, when we first got. <laughs> When we started this podcast, we were joking you know, about England. We never thought we'd be talking we about semi-final. We thought we probably won't well, well, we even bother doing yeah, the last couple. Be, yeah, be honestly, we honestly thought we said we'll do we'll do until like say like the second round, and then we we'll probably won't bother doing one because England won't be in well, it. Look at us last week at the World Cup, and we're, and we're still, still talking going. about England. Regardless, we'll be doing next week's anyway. Yeah, it'll be the third or fourth place match. 
Uh, and I'm not showing the thing. We'll, no. we'll, have, we'll have some of them. We'll do it anyway. And the final play, whoever wins it. Finals on Thursday. I'll tell you what, we'll probably have two people watching next week because everyone will be, and we'll be probably blooded. <laughs> we'll probably <laughs> we'll be, we'll be, <laughs> I, I will be pissed. I will be pissed. <laughs> I will be pissed. Yes, I will. I will. So your words. I definitely won't I'm go, We're going it. around Sir Ray's. So yeah. it's going to be mobile podcasting. We might, even, we might even do a podcast at Sir Ray's. I'm going to try and check that out. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's a hard, That's something else for I later. Just want to ask Stuart. Yeah. What have you thought, Stuart, of the World Cup for someone that wasn't going to watch it? Because yet again, he was so disheartened with England. I don't blame him. Uh, I agree with you there, mate. Stuart, I can't I told understand you, mate. it. Yeah. So let us know on on history what what you thought. I'm a converter from to, to Southgate now, and I'm happy to admit BM, I'm wrong. BM, I'm convert. Oh, you have to you have to give him credit and you have to say BM. I'm I'm wrong. I hope the press don't they would lose to Croatia. Yeah, yeah. I hope they don't. They slaughter. won't. They won't. They no, they slaughter slaughter them, they they no one expected team. us to get this far. Yeah, they can't slaughter Whereas all the teams. They've always expected us to get to semi-finals and, yeah, and yeah. legislated if them. If it was this the second round, round, they would slaughter him. Absolutely. If, the, the, all that criticise them. I don't mean slaughter them, they yeah. criticise them. I mean, it wouldn't be like the Iceland slaughtering. It would be a criticism. Now we've got and it. All it'll be is you've done us proud. You've done the, yeah, t- yeah. the country proud. Let's go and try and win the Euros. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it should be. They even I will think if we... Any just thing that on the t- Taylor's you know, watching now. Just, uh, CV, yeah. semi-final World yeah. Cup. First, first season in charge. I honestly think final. I will go into the Euros. This is me, the skeptic. We'll go into Euros, thinking that we've got a, we've got a chance of winning it, and the Euros are coming home. But would Germany be as just as bad? No, because they they're going to have a bit of time. It'd be tougher to win the Euros in the World Cup. Yeah, and now people it will. say I'm mad because you look at the quality and the they compact it more. And you look at those groups. Getting out of those groups mm. is harder in terms of on paper than it is getting out of a World Cup group. Yeah. You look, because you've got Tunisia and Panama. We go into the Euros. I know it's looking far far back. We'll probably get someone like, maybe like Sweden, um, Sweden, Belgium, Croatia. Eh? And Croatia. Well, well, you could get that in yeah. your group. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't get, you'd get lucky to get one of them in your group in a World in Cup. World, yeah. I'm not saying this is easier in terms of the stature. It's much harder. But group-wise, it's going to be harder to get out of a Euro group than it is a world group. To, on paper, on paper it's harder. Yeah, uh, the good thing be, is this squad have been pretty much the same, won't it? It's such a young squad. Three tournaments we got, we can grow now. He's been brave. He's been allowed time to grow, which yeah. you don't get in today's game. Under twenty ones. The only one that had a change would be young. I couldn't see him in the Europe one by then. Could you? He's knocking on a bit. But what, Cahill definitely but how, like, what's the Steve saying you know look, we keep looking back at it and Andy Andy and Lee evening guys um, we're one game away from a World Cup final Brilliant. but I said the thing I want to make sure my kids watch the final because they can say if any of them I mean half of them just say like football's a crap I don't want to watch it when they're older <laughs> but if they do watch it they can say I've watched England yeah. in the World Cup final because how many times no, none of us we're old enough to watch the final. Not the final. No, no, don't point at me. I'm not there. I'm not there. You were there. You were there. I there. You were 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 there. But, like I said, we were not old enough to remember 66 or born to watch uh, to 66. So, you know, that's why I'm hoping. Including We've got to lay that one to rest now. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Tanya's, uh, Tanya, this is obviously Kenny on because I've banned him because he's a fool. Watford scum. That's all you can say. Um, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that this is the only time Kenny. you can say this, mate, because you'll never love him to score the winner. I, he's just he's on the wine. I mean, Kenny's back on there now. The Coppites have... He's, he's shit, Kenny. He's, come out, of his, he's come out of his caravan, or his bin, and he's... he's Winded us up anymore. Oh, well, so I'm not biting whatsoever. Lovren is a great defender. <laughs> well, <laughs> is he got concussion as well, Kenny? You know, what, did Kenny you see, or Lovren? No, did you see that post? Uh, guys, did you see the post? It's Car- Carius and the uh, warm They had like Miller chatting. It was a pre season game, and you just see the corner of the goal like that. It's on my profile, corner of the goal, and Carius is catching. Shots and the shot came past and he spills it into his own goal in the warm up. It's like Jesus, he's still got concussion, is he? And this is this is from the cop. I'll tell you what, this is brilliant. 
Um, that's definitely not, shall we just say, that's definitely not Tanya, that is Kenny Harrington um, shouting out that Lovren's going to score the winner. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of those, yeah. Um, I was you tart. Yes. Okay. So I was you tart. That's yeah. great. That's it's like you like you saying no. No. Just, just no. Um, <laughs> just put no on the comments. Just put no on there. Right. This is this is what we said. Just no. Um, yeah. So. Right. Um, surprise team in the World Cup, apart from England. I'd say England. Russia. <laughs> Japan. Yeah, apart from Russia, definitely. Yeah. Japan. Yeah. They really surprised. They were quick. They were. They played really. Well. Japan would one. Yeah. I would have said they Senegal, get but they didn't get. Senegal, I would have said if they got another round further. But I'd say Russia is the surprise team. Yeah, but they, taking out England good. away from that. Yeah. I think yeah, I think they were a surprise one. Guys, just remember, um, once again, we are sponsored by Sweets for All, New Watford Market, Unit 5. Get down there. You Like Glenn Wallace says, you will get diabetes, we promise you. They can even order your sweets in as well. So check out Seren. He's on my profile. Message him. They're open all week round. And also, big shout out to Ashby St. Eve. Jim Cook, thanks for the logos, matey. Go on to Ashby St. Eve on Google for your superhero ideas, football ideas gifts and souvenirs so yes serbia a great team this is what um kenny's saying i'm not even gonna say tanya said it <laughs> i'm half croatian love is top draw now i know he's joking um i was officially alive when we were at the world cup holders and i was born in 1970 before the world cup started that year so what yeah what for steve yeah um but in a World Cup final, I know. I was 13 months old, Paul Parker, when the 66 final. Don't remember much. I don't think you would have done it. No, that age, no. <laughs> I, in patches, remember, very, very patches of 86. Or five years old. Very. Mexico. Yeah. Spain 82. Spain 82 is my one that I remember. I was one. So, because they've done <laughs> coins and and all that that you could collect. Oh, I remember collecting um, the coins for 1990. 86. I had the whole thing. Yeah. But yeah, 1990 was, obviously because I was 19, you had to <laughs> and you know, you're out down the pub. <laughs> James said Germany was a surprise team. <laughs> yeah, for crashing out. For crashing for out. For crashing out, for being bottom of their group. That was brilliant. That was a lovely. <laughs> Those rascals. Uh, <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Um, Japan, Watford, well, but Japan as well. No, that's a good shout out. Right, how are we going to line up, guys? Give us your line up for Wednesday night. Are you go you are the coach at the moment, so are you going to change it? Yeah, <laughs> pick those. Are you going to change it? Are you not going to change it? Well, you give us your give us that one in a minute as well. So, are you going to change it? Are you not? Let's have your let's have your um, line up for Wednesday, and also the players that you think are going to worry England and going to cause us so much trouble as well. The two ones, Madzic and Modric for me. Yeah, yeah. And um, Rakitic. Those are the, those are the three girl warriors. Lovren is not Kenny. Um, that's all I can say. And now he's going to score for a header now. He is. Right, the team we're going to unchange it straight away. Unchange. I'd then, swap Danny Ali for uh, Loftus Cheek. Loftus -Cheek. I, I want him to change it. Really We've lost the sheep, but I don't think but that, would, that was all I would if he's change. Fit, if Ali's fit, he'll play Ali. Um, if you don't, then I would really want to see Loftus Cheek because he was strong on the ball. Yeah, I thought he, was, he gives him another option because he's he holds the ball up. I, mean, I think yeah, yeah. he tries to he, try, he muscles his way and tries to create. Yeah. Doesn't he? I, I wouldn't yeah. change it, and we'll win two 0 I don't think they're going to score. Pitch predictor. Pitch predictor. Pitch predictor, guys. Uh, message your scores in as well for Wednesday. I think two one. We're going to win. We're going to get to final three 0 eh? Or three two. 3-0, 3 nil. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll do that then, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, I just don't think that scores. 3-0, 3-0, they'll worry us, but like um, Mick said, you know, our, we know our crosses, we're causing a lot of hassle. And they're not, they're not a tall team, are they, in places? The Stuart's you know. saying, young squad, no fear, believe in the impossible, yeah, we are going the distance, Can, yeah, there's no reason why not, I've said 2-1 now. Yeah, they are fearless. They scored on. They? They're not scared of nothing. If the Croatian against Russia turn up, it's their forward line that worries me. Their defence doesn't. Same with France and Argentina. The forward line frightens me. The defence certainly yeah. doesn't. I laugh at the, the back line. It, the, considering look at the players they've got, the French side at the back. That Barney ain't bad at the back. 
Barani. Barani. And they've yeah, got that guy um, from Barca as well, the big chap. Yeah, yeah, what's it? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Desai, look, Desai's style. <laughs> well, he's built like Desai. No, he's a big black. No, he's, he's, he's black. black. He's black. Come on. Yeah. Just because he's black. He um, he's, he's black. He's big, stocky. Yeah, he's, he's, Desai's a different breed. Yeah, he's the, he's the, the modern version of Desai, that lad. Um, he's got the Desai style. Yeah, he's, he's got the Desai style. Yeah, 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 Barani's in a t- he's a bit like Sergio Ramos who used to be when he played centre back when he's an attacking uh, Yeah and he scored good. his goal as well, didn't he? Yeah, it's a good header actually. Yeah. But we have got like say if Sterling can just sort out his decision making. Just, yeah, just he could, he runs off the corner of defenders like he did against Sweden. It's a totally different animal Croatia and France. I'm gonna put it okay. out there. He, he's gonna score past Croatia. I think he's gonna yeah. come up there. I don't know why I just I've him got and K think he's he well. well. Lob it over the top, let him run yeah. it. I reckon he will, yeah. Him and Kane have scored. I think Harry's got But I think Kane has got back again, just so to give him that. Yeah, yeah, so right. Bjorn's saying it's caming home. Um, <laughs> it's caming? It's caming. home. Harry caming home. Oh, I know James here. Uh, don't change the start as long as Ali is fit. We have a strong subs yeah. uh, for when they are trying at 2 0. Hmm. Yeah, no, he's right. No, he won't change it, Gareth Safter. Safgate. Unless someone's injured, he will not. Came home. Yeah, it's good that is. <laughs> as far as the papers haven't put that one yet. But... Going out and getting Kane. See, I'm more, it's this time more than any other time. It's this time. So you're not too young to remember that one. 82. I think I posted it on the podcast. You have to have a listen. Kevin Keegan said. <laughs> God. God, that's why we failed. Yeah, we just got the first this ever World Cup goal, wasn't it? In '82, Bob, Bob, Brian Robson. Don't ask me why it was only young. France. Come on, you should that. know. Well, well, I, I have got Alzheimer's at this I age. I wasn't exactly ten years old though, was I? In '82, we we'll have to ask Ray. Ray, answer the question. Did he score the quickest goal? Sixteen seconds against France. Header. God, you're good. God, you're good. The old they all say that. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. <laughs> Get your stats out for the lads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that is, yeah, can someone confirm it? That Brian Robson scored, I think it was a header, 16 seconds um, against France, I think. Go on Google. 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 Yeah, Google them. Got to say, I've got now, and it's Kamin. <laughs> Googling. 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 Um, Don't you ever feel nervous with England where they pass it around the back when sometimes they're close? I think John Stones has played one across <laughs> oh goal, and it's like, why? Oh, especially when we've had it up the field and we've gone back that yeah. way. Oh, yeah. It gets me nervous. And Pickford with the ball. I'll tell you what, another reason you pick Pickford is good. We've we've all seen it at Watford, that distributing the ball by kicking it so far. See and the size of his feet. legs, though. Jesus yeah. Christ. And he's finally really beat with Trippier. He's done it yesterday. He's doing... Pretty much the halfway line, Trubia brings it down. He's they said, off. kick it out of your hands. He said, no, just kick it. Uh, just dead ball. He, says, he kicks it better dead ball yeah, than he, he does, does out of his hands. Some goalies do, don't they? Some are better yeah, off the ground. I think he's, he's the ones hands. out of his hands I feel more dodgy about than yeah. his ones off the ground. Because yeah. he's on his left foot, he's absolutely immense. Well, he actually, he's distance. Done, he done a Gomez throw and it went completely wrong. Didn't yeah, no one throws as good as that. No, Gomez. no, he went over Trippier. I think, Trippier I'm off next there. week. I'll be getting extremely pissed. For other semi-finals than the final. It's on, lads. Dressed in red and white and blue, it's World Cup Willy. World Cup Willy, that was right. World Cup Willy, yeah. That's right. Yeah, Willy that or Willy. Uh, lion. Was it? Yeah, we've got a lion, That's him. Get your Willy out. So we've got a Willy out. <laughs> World Cup Willy. <laughs> be seeing that's a cat, but I'll be lion. It's a oh, lion. Yeah, yeah. It's a lion. It's got mane. Look, have you seen a cat with mane? Oh, yeah. he, he's gone right through him, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's easy with that. Oh. Boom. No, 38 seconds, I thought. Um, we could double that. Tristan, yeah. Um, Carmen. That's what um, Bjorn's saying. Now, Southgate deserves all the credit. All the credit. He deserves it. Yeah, because like I said, if it didn't come off against oh, yeah, Belgium, yeah, we we, we lost yeah. against thing. Then they should have said you stopped the momentum. Yeah. You've got to learn from that. We've got to push on next time and not change the team and all that lot. But now we've looked at it. We lost the game. Look, we're looking at it in hindsight. Yeah. Beautiful thing. We lost the game. We kept the players fresh. We got the easier on paper draw. Everyone's had a run got, out. Yeah. Everyone's got a cap. Yeah, and we've got a proper cap, as I say, because it's not at these bloody friendlies you get a yeah. cap for friendlies. And also, we've got to 
potentially a final with our players fresh. No injuries. And also next no world, next Euros, we'll be having a break in there. We're having a two week break oh, as well. To start next. Is it next season or season after? Not next season. Next the following season, season after. We're having breaks as well. Is that's, break. that's the summer, uh, winter one, isn't it? Winter, winter break. Winter break. break. Next World Cup is in Germany. In our they have like two or three week breaks, didn't they? They have three week breaks. I think they have like the cups in midweek. Yeah. They take all the cups. That's what they've learned. And that that will help us as well in the Euros. We have a break as well, we have a couple of weeks break. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. It's that Christmas, it's around, they say, oh, you stop the Christmas period, the Christmas New Year period, yeah. first couple of weeks in January or from December the 25th onwards for two weeks, that would be perfect. Cause that's the bit where it knackers them. Well, they seven games, don't they? Like three yeah. weeks that's or the, that's the Yeah, but isn't that, isn't that the fun of the football? Because, yet again, you arc back. The, the smaller clubs had the opportunity because the bigger clubs were tired, but we had the chance to gain oh, some yeah. points. But what I mean is, then we get to a final. I mean, apart from this one, where we haven't actually looked leggy. The only one that's looked really leggy is Ali because he's had an injury. But yeah. every tournament we go to, apart from this one, we always hark on about, oh, the players look tired. Yeah. Duh, 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 duh. I mean, we're winning, so no one's moaning about it. If we had lost against Colombia, they would have said, oh, the players were knackered. Uh, even though no I'm one sure makes that's an excuse about. we could use 10 years ago, but these are professional athletes near enough, and they're all supposedly I mean, they professional teams, athletes. The players back then were playing like 50 games a season, you know, but in those days, and that, that's a good point. They were, you know, playing one hell of a lot of games, but in those days, it's a completely different animal now. They're athletes now, and they're actually playing less games, yeah. but they're saying the physical, you know, football pressure football. on them. Is more than it was back then because it's less games but more quicker. So you are subsidising the game. Yeah, it's quicker game, but you've got less you're less games. So you sort of evening it out a bit. You know, without it's slightly slower, but you had more games. So in theory, you're saying you sort of the more games sort of made up for the lack of speed. I don't know, because whenever you ask a professional footballer, oh, yeah, all I want to do is play, all I want to do is play, yeah. all I want to do is... So what you're saying there, my friend, is you can play all year long. Yeah. If that's what you're saying, all, all I want to do is play. I think their mind says, let's play all year long, but a lot of them know that, you know, if they get the right recuperation, it won't be a problem anyway, because they could play all year. You should look at the, look at the um, championship. Years ago, you know, when Sheffield United got to this semi-final FA Cup, final of the playoffs, I think they must have played about... Cool. See, what's going to happen in four years games that season. when we play in the World Cup in the winter time? In four years' time, the one in Qatar, isn't it? Qatar is in December. So what's that going to do to the Premier League? Well, well what they'll do is they'll have our, our summer will probably be our winter. So the boys will be playing in this temperature anyway. So they won't have a break yeah, in yeah, theory, yeah. will they? They go from the end of one season, starting the next season, so they can get the break. Thing is, that they have to seriously think because most of Europe will be proper screwed for that. Because yeah, you yeah. know, how do you work that round? Because you usually you traditionally take, or then let's say right, there's a three three week gap between one season to the next. You know, or four. You have only have a month gap. For one so then season you're going to start your season, then stop. Do you work? Finishes May. Finishes the end of May, won't it? And then you just have June. Where nothing happens, and have them a month off in June, and then you start afresh. That's probably the only way you're going to look at it. And then have, and have a lot of them. It'll be like um, the championship, where I think that's where the fitness is. Saturday, Tuesday, or Saturday, that, Wednesday, that Wednesday Saturday, Cup. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, the non-European teams would be Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, won't they? Until the World Cup get, comes around. So that will knock a lot of the pl- games yeah, on the head. So when they're after the World Cup, you know, how are you going to? That's the thing. How are they going to do it? Well, the thing is, what they're doing is air-conditioned stadiums, aren't they? They're doing bowling really? stadiums, air-conditioned stadiums, because they said they've got enough money over there. Yeah, well, I thought that's why they, they decided not, again, that's why they're holding it in the winter, because it would be too expensive to produce air-conditioned. A, an, an air-conditioned stadium. There's a fan, it's just standing there with fans. Like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Some room, they've just got like, <laughs> in 90 minutes, oh, fucking extra time, you bastards. Don't score, oh, thank God for that. Yeah, scored, right. golden goal. Yeah. No. Team left, most players playing in the Premier League should don't use tired excuse. Um, that's Peter Geary, um, a.k.a. Yoda. Um, you also better luck Wednesdays, lads. Cheers and catch later. Hey, look, mate. Hey, look, mate. I'm getting boned up. Where's my England top? Woody, where's your England shirt, pal? There you go, mate. <laughs>
Scotty Clark and Helen are on. Helen from um, Enjoy the Game. Big shout out to Enjoy the Game, Helen. I think the original one, Stuart, went in the bin, actually, after the last Euros. I was that disgusted when I pulled my flag down, which is up there. <laughs> my shirt went in the bin, so I've got to get myself a new one. Or anyone that wants to donate one, most kindly. <laughs> Donations. <laughs> Tony's getting excited in there. No, but um, I would, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change nah, anything. I think pretty simple. Um, uh, I think yeah, England, France, Belgium, Croatia, third and fourth. Uh, if it all goes tits up, it'll be um, Belgium, England, yeah. third and fourth. If it all goes tits up, happen. It's going to be Belgium, two, England final. My France first, and Croatia, yeah, my first, fourth. my first prediction is my prediction, but I think if we do. If we did disappointingly get knocked out, then we'd play Belgium in the knockout. Yeah. The heartache again. The heart, I don't think I could take the heartache and get on the semi final. Honestly, I people could now, see a semi final at last. You know, a lot of people said, you know, we would never think we'd probably another, at least another tournament before we got even near the semi final. Yeah, no, it's 28 I'm years since this one. What would it have been if we hadn't qualified? It would be right. We'll get to the final because we've got the bloody Germans. That's why. Yeah, Every that's time true, we get yeah. to the semi, <laughs> the bloody Germans destroy it. Penalty shootout. Oh, They're God. always lurking. Well, they always love a semi as Germans are too. Not this time round. Yeah, this is our best chance to get to a final for a long time. Yeah. You can't get a better chance. No, I say no. on paper, you know, they always say paper don't, paper don't win your games, but this you do take chance. confidence in that because... Like I say, once again, on paper, you know, it's looking good. Yeah. Pretty much, isn't it? I reckon they look slow, Croatia, at times. Midfield, their quality. Well, last game, you said. You've got bypass it. They ain't got much at the back. But no. no matter how much Kenny says, no, 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 show. No, when no. people are falling asleep watching the game, it's awful. Yeah. I mean, my mate fell asleep. I just, like, like I said to you, I just take a note of caution from that. Oh, God, absolutely, yeah. What I'm hoping, what I think is going to happen is they're going to be tired because the last 20 minutes, that's when you bring on the Vardys and the Rashfords to run at them because finish. they will be tired after the extra time. Oh, but I know a caution that they they will be they will learn from that and said look we can't afford to do that against England and they will come at us. They, I think in the first 15 20 minutes they'll come at us. There'll be a better Sweden. And then yeah, we can, be a better Sweden, a bit more class. Well, okay. that'll be that. Mazurcic is good in the air as well. Yeah, he calls. I mean, that's one of their games. Because they were, like saying everyone raved about them after they beat Argentina. Okay, Argentina they were brilliant. That game, they were brilliant. They were and Modric ran that game. I mean, Messi yeah, Argentina was, were poor, really. They were, the but they got great. Croatia, well, Croatia, were, pretty Croatia pretty were very good yeah. in that game. Yeah, they, were. They, they beat what's in front of them, and it was a substandard Argentina side that had no midfield. Uh, Moderate seized his opportunity and basically gave him a footballing lesson, and especially his goal was yeah. just. Yeah. He had no space, and uh, he's well, he was world class with his <laughs> movement. He made space for himself, and we just got to make sure they don't pick us off. Oh, you got because they will take shots from outside the box. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They we got picked, we should be fine. Oh, you got to pay him respect. They're in the semi final, like we are. So they're, 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 they're not crap. They're in the last. Like, uh, so. like Russia, they say they got lucky, but you need to get lucky in these tournaments. Too right, we're lucky yeah. as well. Yeah, we, we have been lucky. Been Against lucky. Sweden, we were lucky. Against Colombia, yeah. they're meeting the bar. That's lucky. <laughs> Yeah, well, you got uh, people say you you're not lucky all the time when the World Cup, but you have to be lucky to win the World Cup. You know, you got to have a bit about you as well to yeah. win these tournaments. You know, no matter how many big teams are out, yeah, no, you've no, still no. got to win these games. And the games could the, the games against the Croatians, the Swedish, you know, Colombians can be just as hard, if not harder, than the Argentinas, yeah. the Brazils, the Germanys, the well, Frances. Well, someone actually yeah. said it'd been easier to beat Brazil than. I think it was um, Sweden, so I can sit on the radio. I would have fancied Germany. Not Germany, I would have fancied Brazil over Sweden. So purely because about, yeah, yeah, they're really open cool. all over the place. Argentina would have fancied yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. Saying, Man, they've got no midfield. Our midfield would have had nothing <laughs> field day. They would have just passed round them. Well, honestly. You think all the big clubs had a bad World Cup? Except for France, yeah. Yeah. Except for, they were the favourites, yeah. weren't they, pretty much? Brazil, Brazil were the favourites. Do you think they went there thinking they were going to dominate and it yeah, came back they, they, always, they always expect the Germans to get minimum yeah. semi-final. Brazil to get minimum there. quarters. France and Argentina, minimum quarters yeah. stroke semi-final. Spain, being the semis at least. They're all, they're all expected minimum quarterfinals and then whatever falls in after because it's always, you know, power shift. But they're all they're all guaranteed. They're all, everyone says they're guaranteed to get quarterfinals. 
and then everything sort of falls into place. You should have seen what Michael was saying about Neymar saying he's an absolute disgrace. He's a disgrace. He's an absolute disgrace. He said, what a player. It's more more he, he does, stood up than falling yeah, down. He said, all he does is dive. He's yeah. such a talent. He's a joke. I think that's what Schmeichel said. He's a disgrace. For being the most expensive player in the... In, in, yeah, all he's he, an half count the grass often. Oh, it's ridiculous. I think they did actually have a penalty in that Belgium game to equalise, and VAR didn't give it, which is a joke by VAR. If it's penalty, it's penalty. It's not bad if you're cheating or not. Yeah, but they exactly. must have went, oh, you know, I saw him. You know, it's... Yeah, I think a lot of the refs towards the end of this World Cup have been ignoring VAR, haven't they? They have, which is it's wrong, they, though. It's so wrong. Yeah, so some of the, it's like the wrong. Henderson decision where he got it butted, I mean, oh, surely they so, saw yeah. that. Because Clattenburg even turned around. I've never been a big fan of Clattenburg, but Clattenburg turned around and said, if I was watching that, I'd send him off. If yeah. I got a, England, I would have sent him yeah, off because it was the forward motion of his head. First, but even that is against the rules, but it was the forward motion that he went up and caught him. Yeah, and the chin, yeah. Yeah. They well, said, the the so do you think VAR, obviously we're only debate, yeah. is allowed to interrupt the game or should yeah, it just be sold for the ref you know, you put to it go on. back to it? Again, no, the ref's here. The ref's here, so you should see this. Or So, I'm saying to me, mate, say you take a bit like when Watford played Leicester and Deeney went down, but not that, say there was an incident at our end. Yeah. Uh, the ref didn't see it, but we've got VAR. Right, the game has carried on down to the other end, and Deeney has scored. But as the moment Deeney's kicked the ball, the ref blows his whistle because VAR has pulled it back for an instant back in your box. Yeah. Well, I think you should play on till they score, and then you can check. So in. your goal's now disallowed. They've got a penalty. Yeah, yeah, they play. Usually they play on. Yeah, yeah, so what I'm saying is... Then they will clarify the incident. So there's been an incident in the Watford box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the referee's missed it. VAR is now in operation. Yeah. The referee's missed it. They've had that. Less like Leicester, where we've got the ball on the wing. We've shot down yeah. at the other end, yeah. chipped it in. As Deeney has kicked the ball and the ball has left his foot, the referee blows. The goal goes in. He then, then he gets would have blown after. He would have blown while he's shooting. The he, would have, he would have gone in first. The so go in, so then then the it. ref goes over to VAR, disallows your goal, and awards you can't Leicester blow the penalty. If it's not gone in the net yet. So you can't disallow the goal. So we, what you do, you, they, they would the never ever, happen. Yeah, yeah, the they would the never ever blow the, in the, the shot. Cup, the players got halfway down the other end of the pitch before they stopped and got the VAR. Yeah, it depends what you're on about, because of what you're talking you're about You're saying outside. before he's hit it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow no, 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 what I'm saying is, because... I don't like. I, like, I don't like the way VAR interferes. If the ref has missed it, they interfere oh, after. VAR is interfering after. You if the ref sees missed. it and wants clarification, yeah. then he should go to VAR. You can't clarify something that he's just blown up before it yeah, happens. No, no, you can't no, no, no. do that. The ref saw such an incident yeah. right, with VAR. The ref seen an incident. Yeah. Well, was that as bad as I think it was? I want to go to VAR and have a look. Yeah, he will right. go then. Yeah, the ref's not seen an incident. Yeah. The game's carried on. Your team have got into a goal scoring opportunity, stop play. If it's a foul leaving because up VAR to VAR has interfered yeah, there it's, because it's no it, it can happen. Down yeah, there. That can happen because yeah. if it's a foul that contributes to it's the ball going right. forward, i.e. saying there's a block or there's a foul leading up to play winning it, who then belts it down the line, he could do that. Yeah. Because then that's interf- that's actually coinciding with that attacking part of play. So if I so if he's he's the midfielder who's got the ball, I've just clattered him, won the ball unfairly, pelted it down the line. In the unfairly. eyes of the ref no, in the eyes of the referee, yeah. fairly. Yeah. In the eyes of the ref, you've got that ball fairly he's and you've passed advantage. it down. Yeah, but he wouldn't have blown up then because he No, he wouldn't have blown up then, yeah. right? So you've now passed it down to Deeney, yeah, who's taken the kick, VAR's gone off on his thing, he's blown the whistle, stop play. You've not actually scored yet, but the ball's gone into the net because he stopped before but, you've scored the goal. But what we're saying is the ref would play on first. And see where the advantage is. And even if they score, he would still check it because he can. Still but it's still only VAR saying allowed. that you've done the bad foul because the ref, was, as far as he was concerned, the foul you've done on him to get the ball yeah. was fine. Yeah, yeah, he would have waited. Yeah, but what we're saying is he would have waited. If it goes in, he can still disallow it because he can check on VAR. I if think it's going to upset. Yeah, it's going to be. Will upset a lot. Than... It's, it's upsetting people now, but he would have waited for that goal to go in first before. And then check, yeah. And because then... if he waited that long, if the ball got pelted down, it would, it would, he would have blew up. Yeah, but in about three or four games, it has gone that long, hasn't it? It has yeah. gone it has, but... down to the other half before they 
be yeah, able to well, I mean, if you're going to pelt it down the line, he's won the ball. He still needs to pelt it down the line. If he's waited that long, then the referee deserves all the criticism he gets. If it's the, if, yeah, if he, well, the Deeney goal against Leicester, that was what? 30, not even 30 seconds. From the moment we saved the penalty to him passing it out to getting it yeah. down. And go, if that was, oh, it's not a penalty, it's a. a, a, a dive. A, in the box, but we've got the ball and done exactly the same. Yeah, VIR is also there to have a for instance is that the ref doesn't seem to advise him to have a look. Yeah, but and what so we're I saying think... is even if we score, it doesn't mean the goal's going to count because he can check, he can just go, wait a minute, I'm going to check VAR. Well, let's just, just clarify there. this, it'll yeah. look, see if it's a foul, oh, yeah. I missed that bit, okay, no goal. Yeah. I think a lot of the refs later on in the competition have ignored VAR. They have a They've bit, got yeah. a time limit of where they can judge it so if an incident results in a goal he's got a certain so, so many yeah. seconds because you can't wait like two minutes thing you have to start like 20 seconds after the incident or something like that yeah but we've all seen incidents where we've all screamed oh VAR 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 yeah. VAR and you're not seeing VAR at all no no, no some no. incidents it should have been done um there's a there's a, been a lot of incidences so uh, when it, they should have done it um, I think it's going to be used quite a bit for this semi-finals because these, these these two games are huge for all four countries. If there's a penalty and the ref in 100% sure, he's going to I think he's going to go to VAR ahead of a lot so more in the next two games. Yeah, but that's the ref, that's the ref wanting clarification on, on his own judgment. Yeah, but he can do that. He's yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, so VAR wants. should be a tool that the ref uses yeah. and not interfering with the ref's running of the game no, no I can understand but yeah. it could also be there because if he doesn't miss an instance as someone's just clocked someone they can interfere with it and to say actually ref when he's just scored the goal actually ref have a quick look at this what yeah, do you right. deem it if he doesn't deem it to be part of that period of play he'll it's just slide and say no don't worry about it and just carry on so should the teams be allowed to call three or four VAR no, incidents during no, the match I only say one I only reckon one three or four be ridiculous. one chance I that's think it. the manager contest it I, I think, think the manager should, manager should be allowed, I think the yeah. manager should be able to contest one just one it'd be ridiculous otherwise ridiculous. otherwise you'd be like every yeah. single time I think tennis players have got three haven't they yeah like but that, that's, and that's then, quick uh, as a rugby teams can call it and cricket can call it, but I think only one. The cat. I reckon the cricket, cat. Cricket's not constantly bang, 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 no. bang. They stand about for a yeah. bit and hoover the oh. thing, don't they? Right, the, right, the, right the, the, yeah. a lot more. You know, they say, oh, we only got 80 minutes, 10 minutes less, but it's a lot slower game than thing, and they're used to it anyway. Yeah. I reckon that's that, built into rugby anyway. This is just coming into football, so we're trying to find a way of integrating it. I reckon we? the manager or the captain should be able to call it. That's it. If they go to the captain, you know, that's a definite penalty. I want you to call it. That's it. They should be able to say to the ref, right, check it. Yeah. And that's it. Even if you're right, you don't get another one. Yeah, right, but what, know, for you... St- what for Stevie? He's got a point. Uh, but just think, Maradona's 86. Tell me you don't want VAR. But they would have used You wouldn't that. be talking Not about yet. that now, though, would you? No, but no, that, they would have used it. Yeah, they would have used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been disallowed. But... You're talking again, what, another 20-odd years, 30 years on. If, if that incident was sorted out on that day, you still wouldn't be talking about his hand of God. Because no, no, it would have been all forgotten even. about. Well, we would have got a, a free kit or a pen or the goal wouldn't have been stirred. Yeah, it'd be da, da, da. I, know, I know what you mean, in. but, but it would have, the justice would have prevailed. And then everyone would be lord in VAR how great it is. Yeah, but then didn't the, uh, the stories and the myths just yeah, disappear Yeah, no, you then? missed that history. That would be history. Yeah, yeah but then it? also people would, at that time would have said, well, no, we, we, we would have been happy if that incident would have been taken away. You get all this thing, but I'm sorry, if you're, if things are, oh, no, no, keep keep the decision, then I could talk about it in 30 years. You wouldn't have thought wow. that Imagine back then. The, back then, you wouldn't have thought about it. You would have wanted that goal to not... To oh, God, it. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. Well, you could say that with goal line technology, with Lampard's goal bouncing and coming out. I don't think yeah. great with natural but decisions. You get people talking, but I'm sorry. If you're back then, in 86, you would not you want the VIR to not work. Well, we've got been 66. Imagine one of our goals that didn't go over. Yeah, goal line technology. 2010. 2010. Yeah. People are not but talking yeah, but about it. You're talking about these times in history now, like they were yesterday. Yeah, we're not going to be talking about No, what I mean, we're talking about the fact that we were cheating, not the fact that we there were great goals. Yeah. That's a different type. I would like to talk about stuff that were great thing, not the fact that he was a cheating prick. <laughs> Maradona. Even yeah, 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 scored, yeah. But I'm talking more about the fact that he absolutely raped our back, yeah, our, our basically goal, eight yeah. of our players yeah. to a magnificent goal. Yeah. 
you know, yeah. and the run around and run one of the greatest uh, interceptions of all time prevented Lineker from scoring. That foot that he flicked the ball past and Lineker said, I don't know, I was celebrating. I was in the net about to celebrate. I didn't think the ball was got kicked out. He actually thought he connected. Yeah. It was actually the shin that he connected with, not the ball. And the guy just flung his boot up. It was one of the greatest interceptions of all time, I believe. That one he did on the line. I'm both ways with VAR. I sort of like it and sort of don't. I'm 50-50 with it. I don't like it because all the talking near enough goes. When they get it right, because they haven't got it right yet, there's still cock-ups and it's ridiculous. I like the whole technology. Yeah. I like that. I, like I know where you're that. coming from, that these incidences get everyone talking, but, you know, if we get incidents of great football rather than dodgy decisions, yeah. you know... This, so should VAR be used more on the likes of Neymar when he dies, yeah. uh, Sokar oh, yeah. when he's diving, yeah. and should penalties be imposed... Possibly not sending off, but sort of like in, introducing a Automatic yellow bit. card. Or, or, yeah, no, just automatic yellow card. And yeah. eventually he'll get sent off because if he dies again, just go bang. Referees need to be more braver. Yeah. And simulation. I mean, you know, or, or the agents of stimulation. Stimulation. There's a lot of stimulation. Lot of stimulation. I know I should have been, but they, he died too much. Some bloke trod on his toe and he started rolling. It bloody hurts. But it he does not roll around for like half an hour. You don't. You just no. Like, ah. It was like a wet fish when they... Yeah, the decisions in tennis and cricket are more black and whites. Football still involves opinions. I mean, it's opinions that make football so compelling, no, i.e. like we're doing now. Mm. This is the reason we've got podcasts. We had like, it was all cut and dry then. We would have a podcast. Uh, we'll get Taylor in as well. Um, so, in a way, you you are right that, you know, you need opinions because that's what football is, is opinions. I think it should just be more at all for the ref <laughs> than actually butting in on games itself. It shouldn't be a referee looking from the Not, outside in on a match. No. It should be more for the ref to use as a decision for him. So obviously, if, if there's blatant, blatant. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. Um, but not stopping the game. Hello, you. <laughs> We're winning. <laughs> this is a big smile. You're going to a semis. You're going to a semis. Yeah. 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 Going to a semi-final. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look at the face, though. Really? Unless she knows football. He's going to go to your talking crap. Uh, I mean, we're in a semi. <laughs> England, <laughs> mate. <God. laughs> what do you guys think of VAR? While we're on the subject of VAR out there, what, what's, your, what's your opinion? Yes or no? We've got two minutes to I go, so throw us out your VAR. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Delete, delete, delete. VAR is... VAR is... In my book, VAR <laughs> a pillow. It's, well, no, it's poo in it. It's a poo pillow. It's, pillow. it's the poo pillow. It's a puppet. <laughs> it's a puppet. It's a puppet. <laughs> nah, just come on, England. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and scores for the Wednesday. Door. Scores for Wednesday. Uh, two 0 I can't see him scoring. A lot of problems. It's going to be tough. I think yeah. we just about oversee him. Only just. Three two. Um, three two Belgium. No, no, actually three two France. Oh, you, you said Belgium. You got stick. No, you got. You still no. changed the omens. That's in the third and fourth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Mr. Rundle with his work trousers. He plays seven aside with work trousers. He's on. Um, no, I said three two France. Um, two one England. Um, Belgium get third. And will we win the World Cup? <laughs> but I'd love that, oh. Tarkin, but. Yeah, um, just something just tells me that Croatia will beat us on penalties. No, really, you don't get that man. far. I hope my heart, I'm going with my heart saying England are going to win. Um, Dino looks very cute tonight, um, by the that? way. That's Tanya. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. It's a pitch predictor. Yeah, I can. 3-0 yeah. <laughs> England. Cool, I love that. I love my, I'm going with my heart that says 2 0 Harry to England. score. And Harry Winks, Harry, Harry, <laughs> Harry, Harry Kane, and what's his name? Maguire, and I don't know. 
Five two Trippier to get He's one. He's such a fool. Um, to create, Kenny's put five two Croatia. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, if I don't want to ban him, he's just deluded. Until the end, until the end of the World his, Cup. His predictions are as good as his defended on Thursday. No, 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 no. Guys, we are obviously going to be back on next Sunday with all your opinions maybe about the Maybe very drunk, maybe. Maybe very drunk and sunburn. And slurring their words. And that's and that's only on Friday. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> that's on Friday. That's what usually happens on a podcast, isn't it? We win it, there'll be beers on that table. There'll be beers yeah, there everywhere will, on that there. table and it will be a drunk podcast. Yes, it will be, definitely. Yeah, we will be pissing going, oh, we love it now. Pulling up words. Oh, that's all right, words just not in the right sentence. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's exactly what it is now. I mean, it's, it's still now, that's without drink. <laughs> And Seren, the person we're actually very kindly sponsored by, oh, Morphe's yeah, yeah. Egg, the blue pill, the red pill, is on now as well. The uh, Seren no goals. Um, Modric brace. He's getting funnier every uh, day, that Kenny. So, <laughs> guys, just remember, we are thank, thankfully sponsored by Sweets for All, Unit 5, New Watford Market. Seren, thank you very much. And get Google Ashby St. Eve for your football superhero T-shirts, gifts and ideas. Big shout out to the Jim Cook as well. Um, we've been TMA, we've you've been beautiful. We've been TMA. So just before you go, go, just before you do, I'd just like to thank Dino, Paul, and Moobs who started this podcast a year ago. It was the anniversary during the week, I think you I mentioned. Think it was, yeah. Yeah. Was it really um, if it weren't for these guys, you wouldn't give a guy like me and Seren and all the other guests to come on uh, to talk about what for do we love so much. Uh, so I'd just like to say a big thank you to these and Moobs that isn't here. For starting this fan group off. Thank you guys. It's been great this year. It's been superb. <laughs> Big round of applause. I hope you're clapping all out there for these two. And yes, thank you very much. Anniversary was in the year. In the, Is that the like bottom thing you've done? Where's my chocolate? Serena's going to bring them. Oh, He's a right. sweets man. <laughs> so we will yes, get be, thank you guys. be drunk right so next week if we went when we were in the World Cup <laughs> we'll be drunk have diabetes um, or some die. uh, possibly on the verge of death but we'll do an hour and a half anyway. And then we'll be calling a sickie, wouldn't they, on the Monday afterwards? Oh, I would have thought. Yeah, but the thing is, my boss is watching this podcast, so I can't really do it. He won't be in. <laughs> oh, he just won't be in. Because you see what state I am, throwing up, I'll just be a live You'll be getting in bed with the patients, where you're going. I'll be getting IVs in. This is Jimmy Savile territory now. He's not in bed with patients. I'm really nervous. Right, guys, so it's good night for him. Good night for me. Good night for him. 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 And good night to Lynn. <laughs> and good night to Miss Prince. Good night to Sammy. Yeah. Going yeah. to the semi. Yeah. Yeah. Semi final. Semi final, guys. Yes. Right. Go for it. Let's attempt this again. Come on, England. Come on. I just wait for a sec. Right, end, go to end. I've seen this. I've seen this. I want my sister. Right, move it over. See you later, gang.